go a little bit back in history to tell you things that you might not know and this is something that a friend just told me he's been searching something called Archivo de las Indias which is you know uh, an enormous archive and he found out um, it might be another ar archive now that I think about it but he found out that in the 1800s United States and um, England were planning to divide Venezuela and this is quite interesting I never really come across this information before uh, basically they wanted to divide Venezuela leave one part of Venezuela to send all the black people from the United States there you know for, to get rid of the black issue and the other part will be administrated by um, uh, uh, United Kingdom England in whatever it was at the time and um, this is really incredible. This is not the first attack that Venezuela has had from this country, from this elite, from this government, um, uh, from the people who hold uh, this government to ransom, to be honest, at the moment. And it's, um, apart from that, imagine that the United States actually rejected the idea. We don't know why, but that was actually suggested by, the, by what it was, the empire, the British empire. Now, let's go uh, forward a bit more, and then we have to remember how they took the Guayana Esequiba from Venezuela. How, um, under uh, 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 tricks, they uh, paid the Russian uh, judge that was supposed to decide who that land belonged to. And uh, they, obviously, the other uh, judges were uh, an American and, and an English, why not? Um, have these impartial people decided deciding about something so important as a huge um, territory which now we know is full of uh, uh, resources natural resources and that has been um, uh, the thief you know the biggest thief that Venezuela had had from this country and um, still claiming it and constantly what we have seen throughout that conflict is that the um, United Kingdom have tried to change the law to come across different ways to try to steal and to keep that uh, territory um, um, out from Venezuela's sovereignty, which is really, it's always, it was. And, and there's a lot of uh, information, historical um, documents that prove that. Now, these latest thefts, how can they do this? How can they get away with this? And I tell you how they can get away with this. International law. International law is for middle and small countries to respect. International law has never been respected by countries like this. They have broken international law every time they have pleased. They are pleased to do it. And they have never responded for the actions. And these latest thefts have, in the middle of a pandemic represent a huge suffering for the Venezuelan people. Here we're talking about human beings, Venezuelan people who have, who have had, had access to the vaccines, to food, to everything, because this money has been held here at ransom for these thieves. I think the quality of, uh, of the British Empire has never really left this country. And it's a, 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 a character of, um, or a desire to steal from the rest of the world a desire to enslave people from the rest of the world if they can get away with that and also to make people in this country suffer and I think we need to join the dots a lot of no, uh, wonderful ordinary people in this country are suffering and will be, continue to suffer under the elite that is controlling them and taking every penny they can from the poor I mean how cruel can that be how cruel can that be the relator of uh, uh, human rights and poverty in, in the in United Nations just said that last year I think or two years ago that this country is basically bent on making a group of this population poor I mean the, po the poverty here is about 22 percent at the moment and it's gonna increase obviously with this on ongoing pandemic and all the increases that are coming now they're cutting the universal credit, they're treating the population here as they treat us Venezuelans. And I think we need to find this common ground and find the way to get these measures to the population in this country who are being abused the same way we have been abused by